In Shatter on 5th edition, magic comes in all shapes and sizes. When your team encounters enemy magicians flinging mana at them, it's your job to protect their minds and bodies. To stop your street Sam from falling under the influence of a Wuching mind mage, you'll want to know the rules for counterspelling. Counterspelling can be used to provide your team with extra dice in the form of spell defense against incoming hostile attacks from enemy mages, or as a way to dispel enemy illusions and buffs. To use spell defense, you'll need to declare it ahead of time as a free action, or use an interrupt action that reduces initiative score by 5. You then designate the targets that are under your protection, including yourself. You can protect a number of people up to your magic rating at one time, but they will need to be within your line of sight to receive the protection of spell defense. This uses the same rules as for targeting spells. Each full combat turn, you have a pool of dice that you can use for spell defense that is equal to your counterspelling skill rating. When a spell is cast, you can choose to use some or all of your counterspelling dice to defend against the incoming enemy spell. These dice are added to the defense pool of all the people you designated to protect, including yourself. The pool refreshes at the beginning of each combat turn. Counterspelling can also be used to dispel sustained and quickened spells. A dispelling test is counterspelling plus magic, limited by astral, versus the spell's force plus the caster's magic rating, plus any amount of karma that was spent on the quickening of the spell, if any. A counterspelling focus can be used to add to your dice pool, and reagents can change your limit on the test. Every net hit on the dispelling test reduces the number of hits the caster had in casting the spell. This can reduce the effectiveness of the spell, such as in the case of increased reflexes. If the net hits are reduced to zero, then the spell ends completely. Regardless of how it goes, you take drain from the spell as if you had cast it. The drain is physical if the spell's force was higher than your magic rating, otherwise it's stun. Ritual magic can be dispelled if it contains the keyword spell, and is an ongoing effect. Make an opposed counterspelling plus magic test using the character's astral limit against a dice pool equal to the sum of the force of the spell plus the total of the magic ratings of all the ritual participants. Every net hit reduces the net hits from the ritual's ceiling step by one. You take drain equal to twice the hits on the opposing test. Thanks for watching. Tell me what you'd like me to do a video on next. And if you liked this video, please consider becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash complex action. Our patrons help to support the videos that we make here, and in return, you get access to thank you rewards. Everything here is made possible by the generous support of our patrons, and thanks again for watching.